Now, we know that teachers are the unsung superheroes of our communities. They are the ones who lead and influence the generations of today and inspire us to be the best versions of ourselves tomorrow. Today, we would like to honor two outstanding teachers who go above and beyond in true superhero fashion. So I want to send a big shout out to James Well and Emily Graves from Sutton Community Academy for outstanding mentorship. <laughs> Show them some love. From organizing fundraisers for wee villages to fostering creative environments for students to participate in social initiatives, thank you for your leadership inside and outside the academy. It's true that teachers see the potential in all of us, and as we grow, their mentorship always stays with us. So right now, I want all of us to take a moment and honor all the teachers here with us today. Your dedication and commitment to your students never goes unnoticed because you are truly legendary. Let's give them a big round of applause, Nottingham. Lovely. All right. Our next guest knows all about the power of the mind and the galaxies of potential we have within. He's an outstanding doctor who's passionate about ensuring the safety and well-being of all people. Please welcome Dr. Julio Myra. Yeah, that's the song. Hello, day. Good morning to all of you. My name is Giulio Maira. I'm a neurosurgeon, and my job is to take care of people's brain. You know that the brain is the most wonderful thing in the world universe. Imagine a sky full of stars and the billions of galaxies that rotate above us. Imagine now to bring all these stars into your head, to call them neurons and to connect them together. You will have an exact representation of our brain. Like the stars of the Milky Way, the brain consists of almost 90 billion cells called neurons and millions of billions of connections. It's fantastic. And imagine that every single cell of our brain represents a small brick that contributes to the construction of our intelligence. But remember, Every single cell of your brain can be damaged by the use of drugs and alcohol. For the brain, cells alone are not enough. To do this job, it needs some chemical substances called neurotransmitters, whose function is to allow the exchange of information between cells. And without the exchange of information, you can learn nothing. I want to, I want to talk to you about one of these. It is called dopamine, and it is considered the neurotransmitter of pleasure. Whenever we feel passion, like when we play sports, or when we have a good grade at school, or when we fall in love, or and are happy, or when you are smiling with a friend, our brain produces dopamine, and we feel pleasure, and we want to repeat the action. We, call, we can call passion and dopamine our natural drugs. Unfortunately, even illegal chemical drugs can cause a strong release of dopamine. And when I mean illegal chemical drugs, I speak about cannabis or cocaine or something like that. And the dopamine gives you pleasure and the desire to repeat the action. It's exactly what happens with passion. But the big difference between natural passion and drugs is that natural passion doesn't harm your brain. Why drugs and alcohol? alter many important functions of your mind. The following images show the effects of alcohol and drugs on the brain. On the left, images of a normal functioning brain. On the right, the changes after drug and alcohol intake. And remember, these lesions, you see, can remain for the whole life. The consequences are that our personality changes, our memory is compromised, and our behavior is altered. And this is even more serious at your age, because your brain is not mature yet and is more, more vulnerable. Adolescence, as we know, is the most beautiful period of life, and you are happy to live this moment, but it's very fragile. It's up to you to make this jewel shine bright. It's up to you to grow this seed. Marvel 
are the beauties that surround you. Do not estrange yourself from the real life looking for drugs that are only surrogates that will lead you to a dead dead track. track. Life must be lived must be for the whole life, not just for a moment. And remember, a mistake at your age can compromise your future. And it is because of the concern that we feel for you that we are here today. Because at least one of you will remember, if needed, what we heard today. And I wish you that the stars will accompany you on the path of life. And my last message is, do not take drug, smile, because the life is wonderful. Thank you very much. <clears throat>